Crow probably had no idea that uh, this would be the theme for Fed Day and that uh, her, her song was duly targeted for this day. Now, the first cut is a deep. It's a, certainly the first cut we've seen in four years. But how deep it will go, that's anyone's guess. The battle is between a quarter and a half point. A lot of things at play. Well, let's go to Thomas Hayes, the chairman of managing member of Great Hall uh, Capital. We've got Scott Martin back with us, Kingsview Asset Management. So, so guys, let's get maybe the, the basics here. What do you see happening, you know, in the next couple of hours? Uh, Scott, I'll begin with you. Well, Neil, it's, I guess the market is, is kind of dictating it really is what's going on, I think. And unfortunately, uh, for, for my gate, we're looking at 25 basis points, my friend. You know my camp, though. I think they should do absolutely nothing, as they did in Seinfeld with that one episode. And therefore, I think they're making a mistake. But look, where the market is kind of, I guess, hedging itself, or at least, let's say, pushing the Fed, seems to be towards that 50 basis point cut. But, you know, as we have the, the graph up there on the screen, why don't we just get this over with? Let's just do the 100 right now. Let's just rip the Band-Aid off. Let's call the economy stinky. Let's try to manipulate the election. Let's try to push the consumer out there to overlever. Let's get the housing market going again. Let's just get it done right now in the next couple hours. All right. Um, I don't know what you're taking this morning, Scott, but, but I, 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 <laughs> the usual I'd like stuff. you to share some of that. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Um, Thomas, let me get your take on that. I mean, the quarter is kind of the consensus. There are uh, many who argue, uh, maybe not as eloquently as Scott just did, if you want to make a big move, this is the time to make a big move, even though it's not necessarily required to make a big move. But what do you think? They could front load, but they won't. They don't want to admit that they're behind the curve, which they are about 200 basis points too restrictive. And they don't want to imply that they're interfering with the election. So we're going to see 25 and we'll potentially see some talk uh, that will be dovish towards 50. The market's expecting about 100 basis points or more of cuts before the end of the year. I think that's basically where they're going to go. As for the markets, I think the first move is often the wrong move. So if we rally today, I'd be a little more cautious tomorrow. If we sell off today, uh, it may be a buying opportunity tomorrow. But there's a lot of negativity coming into this. Everyone's worried about the worst two weeks of the year in September coming up. Uh, election year jitters. Usually you have weakness in October before the election. So I think the, the stage is set. People have already loaded into defensive stocks like utilities. Uh, we may get surprised and the market could potentially go up in coming weeks, which would surprise a lot of mar market participants. And, you know, I don't know the history, guys, about what happens when the Fed finally acts on an anticipated, let's say in this case, rate cut. But I would be curious, Scott, what, let's say it's, uh, it is a half point today, uh, unlikely though it might seem, but I, I could be wrong. Um, how would the market react to that? Would it deem panic on the part of the Fed? Uh, would it think it's being overtly political here, trying to help uh, Kamala Harris? I mean, there are a lot of different ways the market could spin it and react to it. What do you think? Yeah, I think the market would consider it a victory for the market because that would tell me the market pushed the Fed into this because, Neil, as Tom kind mm -hmm. of alluded to, some of the data points that are out there, whether it's unemployment rate, whether it's wage growth, whether it's the stock market itself, I mean, those are all indicators to me, or at least as far as our research goes, that the Fed doesn't need to be cutting here. And so if the market does push the Fed, let's say, into a 50 basis point cut, I think the market sees victory. However, the the market is very uh, suave, let's say, and what they're going to do is the market is going to sell off both in bonds and stocks because the market is going to say, OK, Mr. or Mrs. Fed, whatever you want to identify yourself as, what are you going to do next? And the market is going to be in a bad, jittery mood going into the next cut and go down to the next cut because it wants the Fed to keep following the market's mantra, which is more cuts. All right, gentlemen, don't go anywhere. I want to pick your brilliant brains a little bit more in the broadcast here again. Uh, for those of you uh, maybe not uh, you know, that tuned into what is going on right now, uh, you have lives to live after all. Uh, the whole world seems to be waiting on the Federal Reserve and its decision as it wraps up a two-day meeting.